Welcome to Sword of Professional with Fire Marshal Bill and Rich. And welcome, everybody. And I'm mad. Who's Fire Marshal Bill? You. You were like, oh, alrighty then. You don't know who Fire Marshal Bill is? I do not. You have watched Living Color? Jim Carrey? I watched in Living Color when I was like 10. So you didn't have a brain then? I don't remember things from back, a lot of things from back then. What happened to our theme song? What are we going to do with that? Uh, once I can figure out why it, it's not actually, uh, it's, I, I don't know, I, I'm not uh, a, an audio guy by trade. I don't know any of these stupid things, so I'm just kind of trying to figure it out as I go along. So this is the comic show, right? I f- was finally able to get it to actually load into Audacity so I could change the format of it. But yes, this is the comic show, so we won't talk about that. So I guess you'll be you'll be doing most of the talking because I got two books. <laughs> well, we could talk about Trinity. I know a girl named Trinity. She's like ten. Uh, Actually, she's gonna kill me now. She's like thirteen. <laughs> I know a girl named Trinity. She was in a movie. Is that the the Matrix movie thing? The Matrix movie thing, yeah. I know, like Mr. Smith. Is that his name? Agent Smith. Yeah. Yep. Cookies. Mr. Anderson. That's something that can, people could complain about later is my uh, Hugo Weaving impersonation. Much more personality than he had. <laughs> That's kind of why he was perfect for that role. And Elrond. But he wasn't good as Megatron. I can't, when, did, when did that first uh, Lord of the Rings movie come out? Fuck if I know. 2006, I thought. No, I think it was 2001. Really? Yeah. That's some of the best lines in that movie. <laughs> Whenever, like, I just answered a wedding invitation and I was late, so on the back of it I wrote, a wizard's wedding invitation is never late, nor is it early. <laughs> it arrives precisely when he means to. I just remember <clears throat> being in the movie theater with my father, and uh, they got to Rivendell. And Elrond says, welcome to Rivendell. And my father leans over to me and goes, Mr. Anderson. Because he can never escape that role now. I still equate him as the Red Skull that will never be in a movie again because he consulted the movie after it was done. <laughs> kind of like Ed Norton. <laughs> wonder how Mark Ruffalo feels about that. I don't know. Did he, did he insult the movie or did he... Uh, was he insulting superhero movies in general? I think it was a combination of both. Nah, it might have been. His movie wasn't that bad, though. I liked Ed Norton as the Hulk. Oh, I meant Hugo Weaving. Oh. He insulted the movie, not just superhero movies. Yeah, he, uh, Ed Norton, I think, just wanted too much control over the the movies. Because he was a fan of the Hulk, so he wanted to... Uh, kind of like what happened to Ben Affleck. He was trying to be too much, <laughs> and now he's just Batman. Well, he's still a producer on the movie, so he has some control. Yeah. And uh, I think he's still writing it, isn't he? Who the fuck knows? I don't even think there's going to be a Batman movie. I hope so. I'd like to see a good one. There was a good one. Which Michael one was Keating that? Keating in it. Who? Michael Keaton. I said Keating at first. Yeah, you did. But that wasn't... That was the Family Ties version. Michael Keating. I don't know. I don't know that that... <laughs> Skippy was Robin. I don't know that that movie was good. Without that movie, there would be nothing today. That's that's all fine and dandy. It doesn't make it a good movie. Just so everybody knows, I'm in a really fucking bad mood, so... If you hear odd noises, I'm doing it on purpose. Yeah, it doesn't surprise me. <clears throat> um, Just hope it comes out the top end and not the bottom. <laughs> Trinity. Yeah. Do you want to talk about Trinity at all? Sure. Talk. Uh, apparently <laughs> I'm doing all the talking today. <laughs> you said you wanted to do some more talking, so now I'm making you talk. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Tell me a story, Matt. I would love to tell you a story. Trinity involved demons and Cersei and Ra's al Ghul and some kind of stupid fucking mural on a wall that involved the Superman, Batman, and Wonder Woman getting their, I don't know, intestines yeah. ripped out by demons. It was Etrigan. I haven't, yeah. And Etrigan. they fooled everybody, including me. Well, maybe not you, because you always think you're some kind of supreme intelligence, but I thought that was Mr. Oz. Wow, you are really being a dick. <laughs> a little bit. Wow. But uh, I thought that was Mr. Oz at first, and then he took the hood off, and it was Jason Blood, and I was like, (sighs) (laughs) (laughs) 
I don't. I, I haven't been following Trinity. So a lot of the stuff that they were talking about, I, I didn't. Really None of that stuff happened in Trinity. Really? Yeah, it was all stuff that happened the, the, in various books that they've appeared in. Oh, the Pandora Pits had nothing to do with Trinity then. The, the Pandora Pits started. They found it at the end of that issue. I want to say seven. What was it? I don't think I read that one. And then Grace talks about it in the detective story, and then Cersei was in Wonder Woman shortly after that. So, yeah, all that stuff happened in books I haven't read. Mm-hmm. Me too. So. And now Francis Manipool is, like, totally off of Trinity soon, so oh, I, is he? I might drop the book. Uh, I might, too. <laughs> I'll give it a shot with the new writer, as long as it's not Greg Rucker. Oh, uh, well, so you don't know who's taking over, then? No, I can probably look, but I'm yeah, yeah. too lazy at the moment to do that. Maybe while you're talking. We'll find out later. <laughs> uh, yeah, I... You mentioned before we recorded that the art looked rushed. Mm-hmm. That, yeah, now that I'm thinking back on it. <clears throat> well, if you compare it to, if I'm, I'm pretty sure it's the same guy, but uh, compare it to the Gotham City Siren stuff. Oh. Yeah, I can't you do that right looking now. at the right book. Are you <laughs> I drunk? Have, I don't have Gotham City Sirens. Actually, Trinity is all the way over there right now, so I can't. Well, I told you not to put it over there. Well, I'm not going to get up to grab it, so. There's nothing. Batman had a lot of scratch lines on him. Yeah. Wonder Woman did too. <laughs> but, uh. <coughs> oh, yeah, that was one thing I wanted to talk about. My verbs are legendary, yeah. so thank you. At the end of that book? Uh, oh, yeah. With the, the, new, the other Trinity? Yeah, Red Hood. <laughs> I'm glad he's a bad guy. Uh, he shouldn't be a bad guy. He what? hasn't been a bad guy since the New 52 started. He was a bad guy all along. I don't think so. I, I'm hoping it's part of some elaborate scheme. Oh, you play uh, Injustice 2, right? I'm not going to go off on a whole different tangent for a minute. I, I said Who's the Nightwing in that game? It's Damian. not It's not Dick? No, it's not Dick. I, I was so confused. I was watching the the cut scenes, and I'm like, what the, what the fuck happened? No, Dick died uh, before the game started. Did <laughs> <Yeah>, Viagra? <laughs> <laughs> Dick died? Who killed him? Uh, Damien. Well... So is Damien going to be the Red Hood when he comes into the game, if, too? If I were not, that's, I think, still Jason Todd. Uh, Maybe it'll be Terry McGinnis. Damien, if I remember correctly, it's been a while since I read the, the series, uh, threw something at uh, Dick and expected him to duck. What the fuck? And it hit Dick in the head and knocked him out, and Dick fell down and hit his head on a rock and broke his neck. And he died. That's the so. lamest comic book death ever. Yeah. And then Batman <laughs> goes crazy and says, "Ah, oh, you're not my son, and blah, 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 blah. I don't like the way Damien looks in the, the Injustice game. I think a lot of those designs are People are good. raving about them. Uh, the graphics themselves are really good. Sub-Zero looks great. I haven't seen Sub-Zero. Um, they made him into a samurai. Jim Lee designed it. Of course he did. I'm just glad it doesn't have neck collars. <laughs> um, I, well, that was what I wanted to say about Trinity, was I'm not happy about the ending, but I hope that it leads to uh, uh, some kind of, you know, I hope it leads to us getting scheme. a correct Bizarro back. I don't <laughs> like don't, Monster Bizarro. Don't like Monster Bizarro, huh? But I do like um, Artemis, that yep. version of Artemis. Mm-hmm. She's a little more personable than the other one. She just... <laughs> Jealous of Diana. <laughs> so that's the end of my comic contribution. Cause I, yeah, got I was, one was going to ask if there was anything else you wanted to say about Trinity <laughs> before we moved on. I, I'm not a huge Race Al Ghul fan. No, no, and not the, only in the cartoon, and that's because he had Ubu. <laughs> and I used to look, remember the, when the show ended. I used to laugh heartily because there'd always be that sit Ubu sit good dog. <laughs> So I would laugh at that. No. Is anybody a, a huge Rachel Ghoul fan? Well, there's got to be some fans out there because he's going to be in Gotham and he was in the movies and they brought him back for that horrible third movie. And Does that mean he has fans or does that just mean they're trying to push him? I think he's got fans. Because for God's sake, they used, uh, what's that guy's name, Music Meister? Oh, 
and the Flash. I think it, but that's because he was on Brave and the Bold first. Sorry if I got too far away from I'm the pretty sure Brave and folks. The, I can't tell. I took those headphones off. They hurt my ears. Well, I didn't want the folks or folk or my mom um, <laughs> to not be able to hear me. Actually, uh, Music Meister uh, first appeared in the Brave and the Bold. I guess he wasn't a comic book character before that. I hate Music Meister. Just like I hate Batmite. You hate Batmite? I hate Batmite, but I do like Mr. Mixie as Pitwick. Alright. I don't like what they call them on Supergirl, Mr. Mixlepix. <laughs> I don't care for this DC show. It's wrong. You want to learn how to say it? I don't... Watch Superman the Animated Series when Gilbert Godfrey spells it out for Superman. It's mix Yes. Have you ever heard Gilbert Godfrey's real voice? <clears throat> yes. It is so completely different, I could not believe it was him. Sam Kinnison? Oh, was it Sam Kinnison? That's the guy I'm thinking about. Ow, 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 ow. He had a different voice, too. Oh, yeah. He used to be a preacher. A preacher? Yeah, I, so I can't imagine that he was... Uh, Talking like that. I wish I'd go to church. A preacher. If a church a guy talk, it's like Rodney Dangerfield was the priest. I'd go. <laughs> I'm like, no Lord, no Lord at all. <laughs> no Lord at all. What is it, an atheist church? Yep. <laughs> okay. All right. I guess I should talk about the Teen Titans special that ends the Lazarus contract. Um, Don't sound so excited. I'm not sure how I feel about this book. I mean, it's. Did it touch you in the room? Show me where it touched you. <laughs> it's good, but there's parts of it that I don't like. I mean, I've talked before about how I don't like the way a lot of writers write Damien, mm -hmm. where he apparently hasn't shown any growth since he first appeared, uh, even though he has. But everybody likes to ignore that. And there's I'm sorry, were you talking? I'm ignoring yeah. you. <laughs> I noticed. Uh, there's definitely moments of that in here. Um, by the way, I want that picture you're drawing. Um, drawing Leonardo from Ninja <laughs> Turtles. Uh, so, Deathstroke has gone back in time using uh, the Speed Force that he stole from uh, Wally West 2. Uh, and he has already failed a couple times to save his son Grant, the Ravager. Um, so he has to keep going further back <laughs> to find different points to try and save his son at. Why don't they just go back to when he pops out of the veg? <laughs> uh, I don't know. Maybe that's too far back. <laughs> Who knows? <laughs> How he already knows en uh, you know, enough about controlling the speed force to be able to say, I'm going to go back to this time is, is, not running is beyond treadmill. me. Uh, but they end up stopping him. Uh, this is an exciting, thrilling storytelling by you. I can't say that... Well, I'm not a storyteller. Damien is pissed off at Wally, too. Because in... No, it was two, two issues ago now. I think in the Teen Titans. Uh, he was essentially tricked by Deathstroke into giving Deathstroke his, his Speed Force powers to go back and save his son. You were correct! And, uh, oh, great. But, um, that was a good message. Was that? So, Wally basically believes that. That was a good word there, basically. Basically. You said basically. I did not. Yes, you did. Lies. When you, when you play it back, it's. I will play it back. Basically. Uh, <laughs> he thinks that he can trust Deathstroke. Nobody else trusts Deathstroke. Not even Batman. Uh, so when they then go... Again, Batman doesn't even trust Superman. When they go <laughs> to try and... When they go to the past to try and stop Deathstroke, uh, they leave Wally behind. And they leave Aqualad behind too, but that's because Damien just keeps forgetting that Aqualad's even there. I hate Aqualad. Which Aqualad? Is it Garth or... Uh, uh, no. Um, from Young Justice. Can't remember his name. His name just flew right out of my head. His name's Calder on the show. But I think he has a different name in the comics. We'll call him Calder. Yeah. Because I used to like that story. Uh, so they go back in time. That's a, the Titans. That's a northern thing, folks. Calder. 
You got Titans and the Teen Titans. And they actually run into the younger Titans. Hit my leg on your table dick again. Well, stop hitting your leg on my table dick. <laughs> We're from a secret location today, folks. Se- se- top secret, top secret. Why are you looking at your watch? I'm not. I'm not wearing a watch. I'm looking at an itch I have. You can see itches? I can see itches. That's especially a... when it's caused by a bug bite. So you're the itch master. Um, where the hell was I? Uh, Damien left Aqualad and right, they go Wally back. back in the past. And then no, he didn't, became... leave, he didn't leave them in the past. He left them in the future. In the future, I'm sorry. Uh, 1.21 gigawatts. So they meet, the other, they meet the, these, these younger Teen Titans from the past. And uh, Wally, <laughs> Damien, let's say, decides that the best way to stop Deathstroke is to change the uh, is to change the the future just enough, or change the past just enough that it changes the future slightly so that Deathstroke doesn't get the powers. And he does that by using some sort of pressure point move on Wally West 1 which stops his heart and kills him. This is Wally West 1 from the past. Huh. Uh, and it kills him for a couple seconds. Uh, but Deathstroke loses the Speed Force stuff and he ends up quitting. Okay, you know what? Screw it. Uh, it sucked. I just realized that as I was talking about it. Uh, it ends with Deathstroke quits. Uh, Wally 2 is fired by Damien. He's no longer a Teen Titan. And Wally West has a pacemaker whoa, whoa, again. Whoa, whoa, whoa. What? Where, where does Damien get the authority to fire a superhero? He's the leader of the Teen Titans. Yeah, he could fire he's not the fire, Titans. He's not fired as the Kid Flash. He's fired from the Titans. Or Teen Titans. So, there you go. That's the end of that stupid stupid ass comic. I hated this fucking crossover. I, you know why I hated this crossover? I'll tell you why I hated this crossover. Tell me a story, man. Because the three issues that led into this stupid ass thing had were just nothing. So it's like the button? It was exactly like <laughs> the button. And I guess they're just gonna keep doing that stupid bullshit. I can't wait for the war of jokes and riddles. Hopefully that'll be better than this was. Hopefully it's not seven fillers and one <laughs> yeah, joke exactly, and riddles. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> no, knowing our luck, that's exactly what it would be. My friend was I was just talking about that and he's like uh, he's like, I bet you the Joker's only in like two books just to piss you off. I was like, oh. but it's the war of joke and riddles. You know the really funny thing? Is that apparently next week's issue of Batman is super important. I Ugh. haven't I haven't and I have Swamp Thing in it. I haven't read the, 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 the solicitation for it, but uh, apparently there's rumors that this is the one where he retires because the War of Jokes and Riddles, I guess, is going to be a flashback type of thing. And uh, turns out the UK isn't getting it until the week after next. Why is that? Because Diamond fucked up. Diamond always fucks up. Apparently, the, when they shipped everything over to the UK... Why the fuck is Batman every story about Batman about end with him giving up? I don't know. Not every story does. Every story. He not gave everyone. up at the end of uh, was that Endgame? I can't even think of it. My brain's not working today. Uh, probably Endgame. You're thinking he gave up of. at the end of that. But then he loses memories at the end of Endgame? No, only, no he gave up and laid there and goes, I'm going to lay here with my friend because he wanted to die. And then that chemical, whatever the hell it was called, Ozymandias chemical... That weird chemical the Joker was getting from the jellyfish under the ocean. It was keeping him young or healed. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. That filled the cave. The Lazarus, the, the other Lazarus pit. Yeah, whatever. And then, even when, I'm going back a long way here. Even when night in Nightfall, was it? Yeah. After he got his spine back, what did he do? He decided to form Justice League Task Force and let Dick be Batman. He just gives up all the time. <laughs> it's so irritating. That's not all the time. He didn't give up in Grant It's from War. 1990 till 2017. He fucking gives up on everything. He didn't give up in Grant Morrison's run. No, I gave up on Grant Morrison. He broke his way out of a out of a coffin, buried alive. Was he thinking of Jack Sparrow? I don't remember Jack Sparrow doing that. Then maybe you should watch the second one. 
because it's the first part of the movie. Oh, oh yeah, you mean the worst one? No, the worst the one. First the worst three? one everybody says is the third one. I disagree. I think the third one was uh, pretty good. Anybody that hates Davy Jones sucks, so you suck. Okay, sure, whatever. You probably like the monkey guy better than the... Well, I don't even know if he was the monkey. The one that Marsha Brady had a crush on. The one with the girl. I don't. what you've done for me. I have no idea what that is. You've never watched the Brady Bunch? No. Uh, no, let me rephrase that. I've watched enough of the Brady Bunch to know that I don't like it, and I'm never going to watch it again. It's the worst show ever. So you have to watch. I don't. I don't know that I agree with that. It was bad. I didn't like it, especially when um, they brought in Oliver. I've seen some pretty bad shows. Yeah. Um, yeah. Although, if you're asking me to name one off the top of my head, I can't think of one <laughs> right now. Well, then your point is mute. Uh, mute or moot. Same difference. Uh, uh, uh. Just like it's a statute. Of limitations, and yeah. some people say a statue of limitations. It's a monument of, of what limitations. some people sneeze. Yes, a statue of limitations. Oh, then you're yeah, yeah, yeah. That's proper English. A statue. Yeah. Or a statute. Yeah. Or statue. So I actually I googled this. Speaking of grammar, uh, an hour is actually correct. What? Ant Hour is actually correct. Who's Ant Hour? Is that like a superhero's ant? Like Hour Man's ant? Yeah, that's exactly what it is. The fuck are you talking about? Ant Hour? I feel like you're like, speaking another language to me. And you're really not. What do you mean, like an hour? Yeah. Like an hour and a half? Yeah. You had to look that up to find out that was tr- the well, correct way? I didn't. It doesn't. It is. It sounds right. But just because it sounds right doesn't necessarily mean it's grammatically correct. Fuck cares about that. It's like when people give me crap about figuratively and literally. What is it about the fact that there's a difference between the two? Yeah, who the fuck cares? If I'm talking to you and you get the point, shut up. No. <laughs> Pretty much. No. I don't know if you saw the episode description for, I don't, was it episode 11? It just said rambling. That wasn't the episode description. Yes, it was. No, it wasn't. Yes, it said. It said rambling. I can look it up right now. I can look it up right now. Uh, where, where are we looking at it? Twitter. Twitter or Buzzsprout? I don't know what a Buzzsprout is, so I'm going to have to say Twitter because that's where I found it. Matt is now typing. I actually have Wi-Fi here. It's your house. So? So, the rambling episode, right? Yeah. That's nice. Yeah. It cuts off, like, three quarters of the summary of the episode. I know. That's what I told you. And you said I was wrong. That's hilarious. Because that's absolutely not what the the description of the episode is. I told you I was right. I had to read. You said it only said rambling. On my phone? All it says is rambling. Should say more than that. That's it. It's got one word and then dot dot dot. I don't know why. <laughs> Considering the first episode, the first words, the first word of it is episode. It just says rambling. <laughs> episode eleven, rambling. Okay. I don't know why it's. I really don't know why it did that. Just like your phone says, we have three followers, and mine says we have four. That is weird. Maybe one of them's a ghost. Maybe. Could be. That'd be kind of cool too. So the comic part of this show is pretty short. Yeah, yeah, well. It was an off week, though. I think it was the fifth week of a month, technically, in the shipping schedule. So. I can't help it that this uh, this episode's... Uh, this episode... Yeah, actually, frankly, this episode sucked, too. Why did it suck? Because you did all the talking? Yeah, Rich. That's, that's your own I fault. I did all of the talking. It's your own fault. Stop bitching. Until the... I told you. I told you you were going to be sorry. Yeah, I, so, <laughs> so I can't make observations anymore, huh? Um, Any observation is going to be seen as bitching? Not on air. I don't critique you on air unless it's just we're just pandering. I wasn't critiquing you. I was critiquing me. Yeah, see how mad he's getting, folks. His ears are red, his nose is wide. It's quite fun. But I told you you're going to be sorry. I was going to just let you run with the, the first half hour. He's really upset. He's got his lips packed.
pouted. Pr- I'm pretty upset. My lips are not pouted. Why you get so mad? I'm not mad. Why are you so upset? You did good. You did you did well. No, I didn't. You kept me engaged. Did I? Yeah. Mr. Over There Snoring? That was when we were looking on Twitter. No, oh, that was before that. I think it was just, we were just sitting there. But to be, listen, be fair to me, all right? That issue sucked. It did. That's why I didn't buy it. The artwork was fantastic in it. Oh, I'm sorry. You only buy it because of the writing. I don't only buy it because of the writing. Like your tweets. You only tweet about Grant Morrison books. I never see you tweet anything like that. I would no. like being hey, it's our actually, show. No, they were both Grant Morrison Being books, it's our they? show, you think you'd ask me what you want to tweet about. <laughs> Tell me. I would like to, but sometimes you're like, let's talk about it on the show. <laughs> what do you want me to tweet about? I'll send you things that I tweet. Like, how about yeah. the Barnes & Noble sale that I, tw- I sent you in a link? Did well, you even you, get you that? Sent that in, I did, but you sent that in a, in a text message. Yeah, I wanted you to know that. Did you buy anything? I didn't know that. No, I didn't. I did. I, I pretty much have all of the collections and graphic novels that I want at well, the moment. Speak, being this about con- I missed a lot of the New 52. Yeah. So I wanted to go back and read that Hal Jordan Renegade run, but I didn't want to buy all the issues. So I bought the two trades, and then I got a Harley book for free. I want to say I have most of those issues. It was, I read the half the first one while I was eating dinner tonight, and it wasn't very good. <laughs> it's just basically Hal being a dick. By the way, what's wrong with Grant Morrison? I just don't enjoy his writing. It's nothing personal. It's just not, I, I, I have thousands of friends <laughs> that love John Romita Jr. and Frank Quietly's artwork, and I don't enjoy it. And by the way, I, re- I tweeted those out because I bought them. You buy everything with him on it, like me with Ed McGinnis. Actually, I bought the one Wonder Woman one. Because it's signed by uh, the artist. That's a good book, if, if you haven't read it. Earth yet. One? Yeah. I've absolutely read that book. It is good. That was a good book. Yeah. I had no idea that Grant Morrison wrote it. <laughs> I'm being flat out honest with you. I bought it because um, the art in it was great. Yeah, it is really good. I just can't think Especially of it. Especially when they bring that the Medusa in? Yeah. Oh, that's awesome. I didn't even mind that Steve Trevor was black. I didn't even think about it until someone pointed he it was, out. He was, wasn't he? I, until somebody pointed it out, didn't even notice it. Yeah. Um, Yannick Paquette, that's who drew it. Yeah. No, so you uh, just blow right over the artists. Well, I didn't want to say his name because I wasn't sure I'd be able to pronounce his last name the right way. So I made up my own way of saying it, and if it's wrong, he can tell me. I prefer not to get people's names wrong. Well, some of these names are hard. Yeah. By the way, did you, see the, did, did you see the news in Italy today? No, what news? You can masturbate in public now, legally. So just thought everybody out there should know that. So you're saying you're moving to Italy? I would move to Italy, but not to masturbate in public. <laughs> I have to look. Th- I don't you think I'd want to walk I, around know, barefoot, though. Yeah, you know what? I don't want to look this up because I have a fe- I have a feeling I'll type public masturbation in Italy into Google and I'll get things I don't want to. I want. Yeah, to see. you you don't want to do that. <laughs> but uh, there's only one other place you can do it that I know of. It's Sweden. So, so I really wouldn't walk barefoot I, in Italy and Sweden. <laughs> I now know two places I'm probably not going to ever visit. Thank you. Just like, uh, there's a lot of political the mo- stuff that we'll talk about next episode. The more you know. I still love that. That and the, after these messages. And they switch heads. It was really <laughs> creepy. I love my cartoons. Just like they're bringing back Animaniacs. Yeah, they are. It's going to be fucking stupid, though, because oh, it's going to yeah. be, like, politically correct Animaniacs. I hope not. Maybe they'll bring back the Wheel of Morality. That was always <laughs> my favorite. That would be awesome. Never leave your underwear out in the rain. Good night, folks. <laughs> different different uh, uh, skit from the show. Uh, what was it? Good idea, bad idea? <laughs> <laughs> that was another good one. <laughs> I will never, ever forget. Good idea. Whistle while you work. Bad idea. Whistle while you eat, and he's sitting at a bar, and he's whistling and blowing food all over a biker's face. That show was brilliant, but it was ahead of its time. Yeah. So it wasn't appreciated by by our, my my generation. I loved it from the get go. All right. Well, I think we'll wrap up this episode. We're at okay. about half an hour now, so let the folks go for today. So just remember, folks, don't whistle while you eat. <laughs> Definitely don't whistle while you work. That's a lot more fun. And more annoying. True. 
almost as annoying as a baby in a movie theater. Which don't do that either, folks. Because I'll be the guy to point at you and tell you to shut the fuck up. On that note, I've been Matt. You've been Matt? I've been Matt. We could do this every day, every episode. I've right? been rich. <laughs> and this has been sort of professional. <laughs> See you guys. Am I recording now? Good. Yes, I am. Mandy, you want to speak? Okay, here we go. On the count of three, you speak. One, two, three. I thought you were going to do it. Nope.